food justice is a holistic structural view of the food systems that sees access to healthy food as a human right and addresses the structural barriers to that right. Without access, neighborhoods classify as either a food desert or a food swamp. A food desert is a place that has a low amount of healthy food options. Now a food desert, now a food swamp is a place that has a disproportionate amount of fast food, junk food, compared to the grocery stores, the farmers markets, all the healthy options. Now, there are studies that show that food swamps are better predictors of health risks. And beyond the obvious health risks, we also know that it impacts how young people pull up to school, whether they can participate, whether they're hungry, really depends on the amount of food and the quality of the food that they're being given. In Rainier Beach, we've experienced the lack of having access to healthy foods. And currently in South King County, it's five to seven times more fast food restaurants than our grocery stores, our farmers markets, and our produce stands. Our homies at Feast were able to find out that 22% of students in Seattle Public Schools reported rarely ever getting enough to eat. And 28% reported only getting enough to eat sometimes. Many students even said they want to see school lunches reflect what they eat at home. Culturally relevant? And not only does the lack of nutrients and the difficulties with getting access to food influence how students pull up to school, it's also having long-term effects. Being hungry and not having enough money leads to crimes of survival. Some people will call it desperation. And we can do better for our young people. Why did we start providing nutrition at the corner greeter spots? We started providing nutrition at the corner greeter spots because we noticed and knew the need of food in our community, the food insecurity that we had in Rainier Beach. Um, and it was also a way for us to engage with the community because who's going to say no to food? And also it gave us opportunities to learn about the foods um, that are commonly ate in our community or not in our community. And then how has it evolved over time? So we started out just providing snacks, um, granola bars, things like that, and then fresh fruits, and it turned into us providing hot meals to folks. Um, from there, there was other programs that were able to um, be created to help support the need for food um, in the community. So like our Beach Fresh, um, online presence, and etc. There are two. How does the farm stand work? When and where does it happen? Who do you get produce from and who can come get it? The farm stand is located at the Food Innovation Center across from the Rainier Beach Light Rail Station. It occurs mid-June to early October, every Saturday from 10 to 12. We get the produce from local POC farmers and hubs. Some of our larger providers are Farm Stand Local Foods and Puget Sound Food Hubs. We also get produce from Alvarez, which is a family-owned farm. And we provide our produce to the Rainier Beach community members, specifically POC, immigrants, and low-income families. How did the pandemic affect the operation of the farm stand? Due to the pandemic, people didn't have to pay for the produce anymore, and we gave it out for free. This meant more people started coming and we had to implement more safety protocols, such as enforcing masks, distancing folks from the produce tables, and making sure hand sanitizer was provided. How many people do you serve every week or every season? What do they have to say about the farm stand? We served around 20 to 50 people each Saturday. Last season, we gave around 6,000 pounds of produce. People absolutely loved what we did and thought that what we were doing was very impactful. A very memorable comment we've received about the farm stand is a woman telling us her doctor was very satisfied because her blood sugar levels reduced due to the fact that she was receiving healthy produce from us. What other options do folks have to get this kind of fresh, affordable, culturally relevant food in Rainier Beach? Through our work at Nurturing Roots, which is a black woman-owned farm located in Beacon Hill, 
People are able to come and engage with local food systems by being able to grow their own food while also expanding their knowledge on growing healthy food. What is your team's vision for the future of the farm stand? Our team vision for the future of the farm stand is having more members of the black community engage with our work and resources, as well as expanding how often we operate and increasing the volume of produce we give away. Our Box Beach Fresh program was born out of a need to teach our young Rainier Beach residents valuable life skills to form better relationships to food as they make the transitions to adulthood. The Beach Fresh program supports young adults in learning about health disparities in ethnically marginalized communities and the adverse effects on our health when eating a diet that is composed of highly processed fast foods, junk foods, sugars, salts, and fats. The Beach Fresh program works to combat these adverse effects in a variety of ways. Participants are taught how to prepare and cook healthy meals using fresh, local ingredients that are rich in the nutrients we need to build a healthy lifestyle for ourselves and our community for many years to come. We actively prepare and cook meals, talking about nutrition and how to get the best of health from a food item as we cook. We learn how eating foods that are readily available like fast foods and junk foods from corporate chains and convenience stores in food swamps and food deserts affects our health and budgets. We look at new ways to prepare our neighborhood's traditional cuisines in a healthier way that still pays homage to our roots and tastes delicious. The program also teaches about food insecurity, the ever-changing omnipresent food industry, and even delves into career exploration as well. We have incorporated the benefits of movement and exercise through yoga and walking together to build a holistic program to keep fit from the inside out. Out of the 307 farmers at King County Farmers Market, only 20% of them were from King County. A 2020 study by King County showed that small farmers need a place to aggregate their produce. There is currently no hub of ethnic specialty food production and distribution in Seattle. There is a lack of access to local, fresh food that is grown in and stays in South King County. Through our review of existing research and conversations with King County experts and other food stakeholders, we determined that the following components would be the most crucial for a local food facility in Rainier Beach. Dry, cold, and freezer storage. Commercial kitchen space. Value add processing and distribution services. A recent report showed that less than 2% of the nearly $6 billion spent annually on food and drink is actually sourced from within King County. If that number was increased to even 10%, it would lead to an addition of around 10,000 new jobs, a stronger rural and local small business economy, and improved health in our community. In addition to our food justice programming, RBAC is currently in the process of designing and constructing a food innovation center for exactly this purpose. The concept for this project emerged from the aspirations of Rainier Beach residents laid out in the neighborhood plan update, and the facility itself is meant to provide economic development opportunities to the community by focusing on locally sourced, culturally relevant food aggregation and production. And while the project itself is a commercial operation at ground level, we are looking to partner with a developer that will construct additional uses above, such as housing units or office space. Common to all these options is also a concept for wraparound services, including childcare services, legal aid, resume and job search assistance, and more. The cold storage pros are revenue generator, address a regional need, job producer, supports BIPOC farmers, and cons are noise, compatibility with housing. The value add production pros are lower investment cost, job producer, cultural hire requirement, scalability, and cons are anchor business partner, 
risks loss of identity. The business training pros are lower management costs, established track record, potential youth focus, and cons are not a direct job creator, rely on career pipeline, low revenue. All in all, we are suggesting a 30,000 square foot facility, including 10,000 square feet for the neighborhood anchor and 20,000 square feet for the food production. So as you can see, we've got big plans for the future of Rainier Beach. We believe that the Food Innovation Center will be a place where we can celebrate our cultural diversity, our food diversity in Rainier Beach and everyone in our community will reap benefits, including you, okay? Whether you're a resident that's looking to start your own business, whether you're a local farmer that needs a place to store your produce, you're a young person that's looking for a meal, or you're a community member that's looking for somewhere, you know, to learn more about the sustainable economic growth of our neighborhood. We want you to feel like this project is for you. And so join us in this mission to bring the Food Innovation Center to life in Rainier Beach. Visit our website for more information on how you can get involved today. <laughs>